Hello, in today's video I will be performing an autopsy. Mm, you heard right. Anyway, let's say roll titles! So yes, that is correct. I'm going to be performing an autopsy today and I'm going to be performing it on this. Now, the reason why I'm going to be doing that is the other day, on Friday night, Vicky was doing some cleaning in the kitchen and uh, this socket was on the wall and uh, she was cleaning by it. It didn't have any load into it. Everything was unplugged and she was just cleaning around it. And all of a sudden I heard a very loud pop and then a very, very loud scream and uh, I went running into the kitchen to find Vicky looking a bit shaken up and sort of pointing at <laughs> the socket and she's just said that just went bang. So uh, I had a little look and um, the rest of the electrics in the kitchen hadn't tripped and none of the other electrics in the house had so I didn't really know what had happened and we were just standing there discussing it further and it made another popping sound and uh, yeah there was a sort of flash of light from it and then some smoke and uh, a horrible burning smell. So uh, what I thought I'd do in this video today is I thought we'd sort of disassemble it and see if there was anything obvious wrong. Now, I'm not a real electronics geek. I'm, you know, I don't know all the bits. And so this is basically probably just gonna be me taking it apart and going, oh, that's burnt. And uh, that'll be it. Um, but you know, we might take this a little bit further. We'll have to wait and see. So I bought this about three years ago. I was going to replace all our kitchen sockets with these ones with USBs on them. And I just bought one of them just to sort of test the water almost. And uh, it's, it's used sort of infrequently for USB charging. And most of the time our kitchen Echo Dot is just plugged into that. And you know, it's, it's worked fine. So yeah, we don't actually use the USB charging function all that much in there anyway, because there's plenty of other chargers around the house. So it just seemed daft replacing them all. Now, I didn't get some rubbish off of Wish. So yeah, this is actually a British General. And uh, you know, it sounds sort of quite trustworthy and it's got the uh, CE marking. But, um, and also at the time when I bought it, I got it off Amazon and it did have a fair few good Amazon reviews. So uh, yeah, it all, it all sort of checked out. Um, and it wasn't hideously expensive either. Now, subsequently, I've looked at the Amazon reviews and there are several other people saying that similar has happened to them. And one almost insinuates that this might have nearly started a house fire. I don't know how true that is, but I can, I can understand it. It was quite a ferocious pop that it made. So uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and disassemble it and we can have a little look inside and see what's going on and uh, yeah, see what's what. And hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult to disassemble. I did think of a, like applying power to it here on the table, but I just don't really have the suitable equipment for it. I was just gonna get a plug and wire it in and just see what happens and wait for it to explode on camera. But um, yeah, I, I, don't really, I don't have a safety cutout or anything like that. So I just thought, let's just take it apart and see what's what. Now, the only problem is we've got this sort of earth strap that goes to the, uh, the screw pins here. I might have to drill that, I don't know. Um, this all could go horribly wrong. But let's start with the simple stuff. Let's start with the screws, because, you know, I can do screws. So there's three screws on the bottom here. I think there's two there. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really want to drill it um, just because I feel like that's gonna be a bit of a pain and a bit messy. But I do have my drill handy just in case. So uh, yeah, I've replaced this already in the kitchen and um, I've just gone with a standard MK socket like the rest of them. And I will add that I did fit this myself. Um, I'm mildly competent and because the uh, wiring in our kitchen 
is relatively new, it's all very safe and you know, it's all terminated like nicely. Yeah, let's do some drilling. Well, that's one way of getting it out. Whoa! <laughs> right, okay, okay. Turn the drill down a bit. Yep, that's uh, that's disconnected. That right. Be gentle. It just suddenly went. Yeah, I should have should have maybe gone a bit slower on the other side as well. But it has meant that we can now get it open and have a little look inside. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> so uh, yeah, as you can see there, there's quite the Bernie. That's really popped. That really has, yep, that is a fine smelling vintage. So this is the circuit board and uh, what do we see? Hmm. Yeah, so traditionally in a, your sort of standard socket without a USB connector in, it's all pretty simple. It's, it's very mechanical actually. So in these, you've got the addition of a circuit board, which will have a transformer, which is this guy, pulls the voltage down from 240 volts to, in this case, five volts, um, probably some capacitors for, you know, fun. But yeah, this is interesting. I'm gonna see if I can get the uh, circuit board. Okay, so it's sort of, uh, soldered or welded or something onto the uh, the live and neutral bars but I think I can see what the problem is aha there we go there we go let's see if you can see that there it is so I'm no uh, electrical expert but that looks like it has burnt the F out yeah, you can actually see there seems to be some kind of chip here um, it says ABS 8 so I'm just going to quickly google that ABS 8 that is a bridge rectifier what does a bridge rectifier do I don't know but yeah sort of between the bridge rectifier there and this guy here it seems that the sort of the board seems to have just completely blown apart it's uh, He's actually taken the cover off the back of the board. Some of the traces are actually revealed there. Oh, oh, I don't know if that was me. One of the capacitor legs has broken off. That could have been me, maybe. Yeah, I don't know if it is me, actually, because it doesn't seem to have much um, wiggle in it. That's a technical term. It just looks like it's been blown clean off, or perhaps this component here has um, moved or exploded and uh, snapped that capacitor. Very weird. So yeah, it looks like it's just literally gone bang and pop. And also there's sort of some stripping. So there you go, there's a bit of sort of stripping on the insulation there, of ins insulation of that cable. Now I wonder what made, what made it fail. As I say, it doesn't really get all that much use. I don't, you know, I think, I think it's a relatively sort of okay brand. But that is a worry, isn't it? That is a real worry. It seems actually to be this component here. If you look at the scorch marks, that is where that component sits. Really, really smelly, like that proper burnt electrics thing. So this looks like a T, I think I've worked out what it is. So TSP, T 3.5 amps, 250 volts. So this guy is a fuse, that's what it is. And that guy has done its job, it's sort of blown, but it's blown quite spectacularly. Now I wonder what caused it to blow, was it that, was it this sort of uh, transformer here that did it, or? I mean, that looks like a transformer as well. Has that transformer gone? So for whatever reason, the fuse has blown, but there's obviously something else that's made that happen. Um, I think it's, because look, that transformer there, hang on. 
is a bit black. So I'm wondering if it's that transformer that's done it. Because yeah, it is quite black around there. Hmm. Well, there you go. That is, that is a sort of initial autopsy. I mean, it is a bit of a worry that it just sort of went. But yeah, that is quite worrying. Well, there we go. That is a sort of quick video. Um, I might see, might see if uh, Vince off of My Mate Vince wants to have a look at this, uh, maybe. But I know Vince quite well. You know, he might be interested to see where this has gone wrong. So I might pop it in his direction. But for me, that is it for now. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, then please give it a like. I just do so much random stuff on this channel. It's really hard to de describe it to people, but you know, I just do stuff that interests me and stuff that I find interesting. Hopefully you find interesting. But, hmm, that's a, that is definitely quite interesting. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be back soon for some more vlogging fun. See ya.